Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee and I have just cut up <clears throat> six pounds of roast to freeze dry in a previous video and I've got a lot of scraps from that roast. No bones, just the trimmings and I'm not throwing them out. I'm going to show you how I make a beautiful beef stock using these trimmings. So I'll show you. Let me put the camera down here. Now you can see I've got quite a few in there. You see that? There's fat and meat, and that's it. Some of the membrane, whatever, that's on there. It's all right. Anyway, I am going to, let's see, I need my board and my knife. Because I'm just going to cut the ends off these carrots. I'm going to cut them in half and put them in there. Now you could roast this if you wanted to, but I'm just doing a simple one. I've got onions here, and I am not peeling them because you know those skins will give it a beautiful color. And that's what I wanted it to, so I am not trimming those. Okay. Also, I'm going to put in a handful of peppercorns. I'm going to put in... A good couple teaspoons of salt. I'm also going to put in a nice big handful of my dehydrated celery. And that I can do because I am going to strain all this. So, you know, you don't have to worry about little chunks in your um, broth. Also, we're going to put about, oh, maybe equivalent to about four nice bay leaves in there and that will really bring out the flavor too so with that you can see all the goodies in there beautiful 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 we are going to fill this with water I'm going to bring this to a boil and then I'm going to turn it down to simmer and I'm just going to let it simmer for hours because I want a nice delicious broth that's it. We are going to put the lid on that. We're going to bring that to a boil first. Sometimes my burner don't turn on right away. Okay, once this boils, I'm going to turn it down and I'm just going to let it simmer most of the day. And then I'll bring it back when it's done and show you how beautiful it is. Okay, friends, my, look at this. It's beautiful. It has been simmering most of the day. And all I do is strain it. Because I don't got a whole lot in here. So all I'm going to do is just strain it through here. And then what's left over, the chickens are going to absolutely love. Wait till I see how beautiful and rich this broth is. Normally I can it. Take a look at how gorgeous that is. Okay, friends. Usually, I said I can this, but I'm not going to can this one. I'm going to let this um, cool off in my out. Look at how beautiful that color is. Can you see that? Gorgeous brown. That's the onions, too, that do that. Beautiful. But I'm going to put this in my refrigerator out in my sun porch and I'm going to let it cool down for the night and then I'm going to skim the fat off in it that gels whatever and uh I'm going to put it in containers and put it in my freezer I'm not going to can this because it's just it's not enough and it will get used within a few months so so there you have it friends that is how easy it is to make a beautiful beef stock with trimmings I hope you give this recipe a try and thanks for watching